Hey, Thomas Bartke here with CAWholesaleDeals.com. I want to share with you today a killer short sale strategy. It's really, really cool. I call this strategy the trusty sale comps strategy. Okay, what it is, is it helps you to figure out what to offer and what you can actually ex expect to get accepted from the short selling lender. And you figure out by way of looking at trusty sale data for comparable properties in that same area where the property is that you're looking to do a short sale on. Okay, so for example, one of our agents that we work with um, brought us this, this property right here recently. Okay, so what I do, and this is just, you know, it's a specific tool for Closure Radar, um, but I'm not affiliated with it. It's a killer tool. It's really good. But I'm just showing you this as a strategy. You can do this with any other tool that you can use uh, to pull these types of comps. You can do it through your agents that you work with through the MLS. Uh, you can also possibly do it through um, uh, basically through any kind of title uh, company that will give you the the uh, foreclosure lists and follow up with you know trusty sale results. But that's basically what this service is here. And uh, so just uh, hang in here for a minute and let me explain the strategy and how it works. Okay, so here is what I do. I can uh, actually do it just as if I was looking for comps on this property. Okay, I put in the address and it allows me to specify a search by radius. I can specify the radius. I'm picking it as half a mile radius over here. And then over here, I put in... Uh, data that I would specify for this uh, property as being comparable. Okay, so it's a single family home. It has this, in this case, it actually has four bedrooms, but I want to look at three bedroom ho homes as well. It has two bathrooms, and uh, the subject property that I'm looking at has about 1,900 square feet. So I, I want to just uh, look at a square foot range between 1,500 and 2,100 because I know that this will pull up any. Um, comparable homes in this database. Now, this database is a database of trusty sale results, okay? And I can specify here what what the status is of the properties that I want to look at. And I want to look at the properties that are bank-owned. That means they have been taken back by the bank through a trustee sale. And also, uh, I want to pull up the properties that sold to third parties meaning the bank was actually successful in selling those houses at the trustee sale and didn't have to take them back. Now, I, I hit search on this and here are the results. I can organize the list. As you can see, there are 12 properties that are being pulled up. Uh, only two of them sold to third party. The other 10, the bank took back. So now let's scroll over here and let's take a closer look at the numbers that happen at these trusty sales all right right here check check out these uh these are the columns here the published bid is typically right around the uh actual loan amount typically with some you know back payments and additional fees and so forth attached on top of it but you can kind of gauge approximately what the size of the the loan was and and thereby also what the size of the loss that the bank takes and you know how it is i mean this is the whole purpose of this video normally the the short sale gurus teach you that you know there are certain ratios that you have to go or you know, offer the bpo uh, the broker price opinion or sometimes there are certain ratios off of the actual principal balance or the amount owed to them but this killer strategy here that i call again i call it trusty sale comps system uh, it lets you actually look at the market and look at what banks were willing to take for comparable properties in a half a mile radius that are just exactly like my subject property okay so i'm pulling this out of the the trusty sale records just like i would pull comps and again you can do that with mls you can do that with uh, uh title title company uh access data that you can get from them and this is basically what this is um, so let's continue to look at the numbers here the published bid amount is the amount that was published in the foreclosure notice okay so everybody thought okay 
they're going to ask four hundred thousand dollars for that for that house now the opening bid is the bid that the lender actually used at the trustee sale they said okay you know the trustee sale crier said okay i'm um authorized to offer this property with an opening bid of one hundred twenty eight thousand dollars and then going once going twice going three times nobody raised their hands this one went back to the bank for a hundred twenty eight thousand so that means this property with a four hundred thousand dollar loan on it approximately was the the lender was willing to take a hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars and that here this number right here the opening bid column number is your trustee sale comp and in this case this is a comp for properties that didn't even sell for this price these all went back to the bank now this one for example is one where they didn't even feel the need to reduce the price so they were just completely aloof and 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 just you know wanted the property back or whatever you know didn't think whatever uh, they reduced it just a little bit off of the published bid they just went over the published bid so they they didn't uh pay any attention to the market these guys here good example for how the published bid is you know close to the loan amount of approximately four hundred thousand and then the opening bid is dramatically lower drastically lower but still not low enough to actually get the property sold same here same here now let's take a closer look at these two these are the two down here on the bottom uh, that actually sold to third parties now check this out <clears throat> these guys here the lender the loan amount again was you know right around four hundred thousand dollars probably a little bit less maybe 385 um probably 392 you know loan amount with fees and back payments and so forth and they were actually willing to take at the trustee sale ninety six thousand nine hundred twenty four dollars wow okay so this is what you can expect to get accepted roughly in that neighborhood and, and when you offer for a short sale okay and now in this case there was some bidding going on so people uh who are uh, buying a trustee sale actually bid this property up to 126 400 so this is an actual market market comp here where cash buyers are willing to pay this amount so this is cool and here same thing you know three hundred twenty-seven thousand um, dollars published bid they ended up opening the bid with one hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred and bid it up to one hundred thirty-eight thousand. so you can clearly see a bunch of lenders here are willing to take anywhere between 128 to 150 for the property at trustee sale some go as low as 97,000 or in this case 127,500 and they actually get the property sold all these up here didn't get the property sold so roughly you know that the trustee sale comp the short sale comp for this property is anywhere between 125 to possibly 140 okay that's your rough span and now now so this is the amount that you can you know confidently offer and the, and it's very likely that the lender will take a very close look at this and possibly take you up on this offer when you offer it on a short sale so again this is uh, my own killer strategy that i wanted to share with you uh I call it the trustee sale comp system. It's a strategy to allow you to know what to offer on short sales. And then of course you have to uh, figure out if these numbers make enough sense for you to be able to resell the property at a profit. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was worth it to you. Leave me a comment below. Go over to, to our website at cawholesaledeals.com and uh, I'll talk to you very soon. Thanks a lot.